Hi guys, good morning to retired and happy in the Philippines. And looks like we have another delivery happen last night. Well, it's an early morning, like 8 a.m. in the morning. I woke up so early, like 5.30, just to guide this dog to go outside and do his business. Anyway, guys, let's see what's happening right now. Looks like they're forming another column here, just to start it out. <laughs> I think what they're doing right now is they're bending the uh, end of that 16mm rebar. All right, what's the measurement, Kuya? 140. 140 in inches? Centimeter. In inches? 55 inches. So it's 55 inches wide. And it's 60 inches. And it needs to be? 60 inches. It needs to be 60 inches five or 5 feet wide. So they need to widen it more. More columns. Oh. This is how they prefer it. They stack by both ends and then they will drag that to the middle. This one will go all the way to the middle. Kuya is ready to cut more of the uh, rebar. Now they are all segregated. They just need to do the butterfly ties. Alright guys, I need to go back to the apartment. It's very chilly here. Oh my god, I have a goosebumps. I know that Lipa is one of the coolest city here in Luzon. And right now I need some jacket because there is no sun. It's very cloudy. Show you guys there. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. So it looks like the contractor delivered their um cement mixer here it's pretty well used <laughs> looks like this has been used for many houses already looks like our contractor sent a lot of reusable sack of the cement so they can use it to uh, put all this in each sack they're putting all the gravel into the sack so they can just dump it and so they're requesting put them on the video ah <laughs> uh, here what can, what can you say? what can you say? <laughs> so this is the color when it dry up because that one's like wet so and then right here, there's four person doing the gravel because there's a lot heavier. It's a lot harder to put it on the sack. <laughs> and here is the supervisor checking everyone. <laughs> so this rock that they just delivered last night is they're going to use to tamper the dirt for each hole so this is a different type of rock and we have another um, delivery this is the molding box or the molding uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is their, uh, I don't know how they call that in here, but this is what they use to form, to mold each column and each uh, footings. And I believe the measurement is 8 inches by 16 inches. So this is reusable actually. Unlike uh, our old fashioned way before, they just... Uh, use a marine plywood and just throw it so this is what they did they put a lot of big rocks in here and then they will tamper it later on once uh, the contractor bring the uh, tools for it our contractor is here again to visit and deliver stuff i think he uh, 
he brought the uh, wood, it's a big block of wood to tamper all these um, rocks. And then they brought a drum. So this is the traditional way of tampering the soil with the rocks. <laughs> it's like they're uh, setting this up. <laughs> They're so funny. Oh. What? So the tires are all flat. Yeah, it's been well used. <laughs> Way easier. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it works. All right, this is the first mix. It's kind of loud, guys, so I don't know if you can hear me. And they have their own formula. Yeah, they do. Don't need to go back to Manila for another six months or so, maybe more. Yeah. Oh, that's what the drum for. Yeah, so they can put water in it. So yeah. They can hand put it in slowly. Yeah. All right, let's go see it. the gravel first and then put a water Concrete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're gonna put the sand. Looks like there's something wrong with the belt of the cement mixer. on the other side, I guess. Now they're pouring it. here look how much they're helping each other oh my god so they're pouring concrete so they're doing a base course of four inches for now and after that they will uh, put the column and then put another 12 inches of that 12 four inches naman yung so Kuya is using a 2x2 two two lumber to tamper the uh, cement down there. Alright, the 4 inches is done. How did you measure Kuya? 
Ah, so he have a measuring uh, rebar right there. It's more than four inches. I see. That's the first spur. Now, their next spur is going to be right there next to this first one. Alright guys, um, I think I'm done for today and he's back so tomorrow. He's going to be the one who is vlogging. Really? I'm hoping. <laughs> yes. So yeah, this is what happened. They just did the first pouring for the 4 inches course base. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button below. And if you wanted to get notified for our next video, click the bell button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye!